like i don't know but covid 19 is really messing things up it's really making things very difficult for international travelers because now if you are traveling outside the country or even into ghana you need to be fully vaccinated if not you'll be balanced if you are out there thinking of coming to ghana or if you are in ghana thinking of moving to a different country and you don't know about this new communicate from ghana health service don't even bother yourself to go because at the airport you'll be bound so stick and stay and let me go through the whole communicate with you <laughs> come to Ghana with a PCR test of no more than 72 hours or you could even leave Ghana to any country with a PCR test of no more than 72 hours just to travel. This PCR test proved that you didn't have COVID but up until the 12th of December things changed simply because there is a new variant called the Omicron. It's assumed that people moving from different countries to Ghana could bring it into the country and so now there is a new rule a new communique was released by the ghana health service okay just last week and it takes effect on the 12th of december if you are moving to ghana whether you're a ghanaian or not a ghanaian you need to be fully fascinated so the vaccine you can take the johnson and johnson or the Pfizer or the AstraZeneca. You also have to have a PCR test of no more than 72 hours on you before you could be allowed to enter the country. Okay, then again, if you are moving from Ghana to any other country, you still need your PCR test. And also you have to be fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated means you taking the two doses not just taking one dose and then leaving the other if you are not vaccinated i just want you to know that you will not be allowed to enter the plane whether you are moving from any country to ghana or from ghana to any country the good news here is if you are below 18 years you would be allowed to enter the country if you're ghanaian and you are not fully vaccinated but if you are 18 years and above it's applicable to you after the 12th of december if you're a Ghanaian and you're moving into the country, you would be allowed to board the plane to Ghana Airport, Kotoka International Airport. But the moment you get to the airport, you would have to take the vaccine before you leave the airport. Whether you have COVID or not, you just have to take the vaccine. This is the new rule and there's been a lot of brouhaha, like people are talking about it. People are saying they won't take the vaccine, this, that, that. And the thing is if you are not taking the vaccine it means you are not traveling so i just want you to know this before you even buy your tickets or book your hotels and all if you know you are fully vaccinated then traveling to any country or moving from any country to ghana it's going to be easier for you and even in the european countries i think now it's a requirement to be fully vaccinated before going there on arrival at the airport whether you are fully vaccinated and then you have your pcr test which is also compulsory you would have to take an antigen test at the airport yes i'm not so sure of the cost of the antigen test but earlier if you were an international person you would pay 150 dollars in order to get the pcr test at the airport upon arrival and if you're a member of the ECOWAS country or a Ghanaian, you just pay 50 dollars for another pcr test just to verify that you really don't have COVID before you would be allowed to enter the country but now according to the new press release you are supposed to take an antigen test upon arrival and as a traveler i would advise you it's very essential to be updated do well to read always check the covid 19 update on any country that you are moving to because things are changing things are changing like messed up because of this whole new variant okay so you need to be aware because i remember when i was moving from ghana to france i they didn't get the vaccine. I wasn't vaccinated. And as at that time, you could move with only the PCR test, but now it's different. But thinking about this whole thing, I really don't see why it's even supposed to be compulsory to be fully vaccinated before you enter a country, as long as your PCR test proves that you are negative. I mean, you don't have COVID. I feel you should be allowed to enter the country because really, I have my money and I say I'll do the COVID test every time I'm traveling. What is the issue here? But then they say that 
someone who is not fully vaccinated has a high chance of getting the COVID than someone who is fully vaccinated and they don't want you to enter the country with the COVID and come and infect other people. As I'm sitting here, I'm not even vaccinated. So when I'm coming to Ghana, no God. So basically, these are some of the new regulations, new things happening at the airport that I wanted to inform you. It is what it is. So if you're not ready to get the bus in, then stay wherever you want to stay. But if you're ready to get the bus in, then I think you can travel. Thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Ene Faith Momo Akon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Ciao.